Hi everybody, welcome back to City Suppers. I'm Tim Anderson, Master Chef Champion, and today I'm going to show you some real American comfort food, beer and cheese soup with mushrooms. So, we're going to start with some garlic, which we'll crush and roughly chop. Give it a smash with your knife. The peel should come right off. And just run your knife through it. Everything will get pureed later with the blender, so don't worry about it being perfect little pieces. Then we've got some sun-dried tomatoes. Now, if you don't have these on hand, you don't have to use them, but they do add a really nice sort of rich, deep sweetness and some good umami as well. So if you have them on hand, absolutely throw them in there. Just roughly chop these like the garlic. There we go. Now, I'm from Wisconsin which is in uh, the northern Midwest of the United States. And uh, Wisconsin is known as America's Dairyland. That's our nickname. It's on our license plates. What that means is, of course, we're famous for cheese. And our largest city, Milwaukee, is nicknamed Brew City. So, of course, it's famous for beer. And this dish combines the best of both. It's really, really sweet and malty and a little bit bitter from the beer and rich and creamy and salty and tangy from the cheese. Absolutely delicious. Not very healthy, but it doesn't matter. Got about 25 grams of butter here. I'm going to throw that into a deep saucepan. So once the butter is melted and nice and hot, we'll add our garlic and sun-dried tomatoes. And let them cook gently until they're nice and soft. This is already smelling amazing. And we're also going to add some dried oregano. Now, you don't have to add this. It's purely optional, but it does add something lovely and herbaceous to it. Marjoram, also good. Thyme, if you have it. Or herbs de Provence, perhaps. They all work well. If you think you'd like to try this, check the full list of ingredients in the recipe in the description box. So here I've got some dried mushrooms. These are dried portobello mushrooms, but dried porcini or even dried shiitake work great as well. I've uh, brought them to the boil in about 100 ml of water and then let them soak for 10, 15 minutes so they plump up and you get a lovely mushroom broth out of them. So I'm gonna add the broth and the mushrooms themselves into our mixture here, and then add about 15 grams of flour. And this is going to be basically a sort of bechamel base for our cheese soup. And give that a good whisk, make sure the flour doesn't clump up. Once the flour and the mushroom broth is nicely mixed, bring it up to the boil, and then we'll add the rest of our liquid. About 100 ml of milk, straight in there, and the same amount of beer. Now in terms of what beer to use, just about anything will do. You don't want anything too hoppy or bitter, because that bitterness will actually intensify as it cooks. But a nice light golden ale, or even just an average lager, will do. You really just want that nice, malty, toasty flavor. So that goes in. And we whisk it all together. It smells like a brewery in here right now. So our soup base is simmering away. It's smelling absolutely gorgeous. But of course, it's not finished yet. We have one last thing to add, and that's the cheese. I've got about 200 grams of cheese here. This is mature cheddar, but any kind of good, strong cheese will do. Conte or Emmental or Gruyere, all of them would be absolutely lovely. So we'll just add that by the handful. So the soup's good to go until we're ready to serve and we'll puree it and make it lovely and smooth. So for now, we'll work on the mushrooms. And I've got some gorgeous oyster mushrooms here, which have a nice, almost fruity, sweet aroma to them. They're great and they'll be perfect for this, but any kind of mushrooms will do. Now, I'm just going to tear these up into roughly bite-sized pieces. And most of these are pretty small already, so I'll leave them as they are. And I'll get some olive oil in a pan, like so. Celery. Celery, I just think, has a lovely, bright, fresh, herbaceous aroma that complements the richest, richer flavors in this dish quite well. So we'll cut it lengthwise into four pieces. So oil's nice and hot, and we're going to cook the celery and the mushrooms together. They don't need a lot of cooking. We want both of them to have some bite left to them. And we'll just season with Salt, pepper, and why not, some Worcester sauce. 
This gives a nice acidity, doesn't it? Works great with mushrooms. So if you like what you see, if you want to see a little bit more, just remember to click subscribe. So we're just about there. The mushrooms are looking just about good, actually. They don't take long to cook at all. We're going to take the heat down on those and return to our soup, which is already looking really creamy and thick and lovely. And we're going to give it a blitz with a hand blender. If you don't have a hand blender, stick it in a normal blender, even a food processor will do. But this is very convenient. Less washing up. Don't worry if it's not perfectly smooth after blending because we're going to be passing it through a sieve so it's really, really nice and creamy. Oh yeah. It's like a delicious cheese and beer gravy thing with mushrooms. All right, so just work this through your sieve. You can see how smooth and beautiful it is on the other side. By the way, the sieving, it's a little bit of a tedious job, but it's worth it. it makes it look and feel and taste much better. So we pressed out all that lovely creamy soup from the fibrous bits. And I'm just going to do a real quick uh, chef-y trick on this. It's completely optional, but it kind of makes it look nicer and it improves the texture, I think, a bit. And that's to incorporate air into it so it's really nice and frothy. It's basically like whipping it. All you have to do is hold the blender so that it's slightly sticking out of the surface of the liquid. And you can see all these bubbles that get whipped into it. We're just about good to go. There's just a couple garnishes, one of which is chives with that nice oniony flavor and, of course, a little bit of color. And to serve with it, some good crusty bread. Nice thick slice. There we go. Let's dish up. This is amazing comfort food, perfect for a cold, wet day. Then we'll spoon in our mushrooms and celery. One finishing touch, and this is optional as well, a little bit of truffle oil. Now, do be careful with this because it can really overpower the dish. Literally a few drops. Then the chives and our lovely crusty bread. And there you have it. Beer and cheese soup with mushrooms, a Wisconsin classic. I hope to see you again for another episode in my City Suppers series. Thank <laughs> you.